Oh, clicked. Open. Hey everyone. You might remember this safe from a video a few weeks ago. I have rescued it from becoming scrap. And I'm going to show you how to find out the combination. Luckily, it's going to be a, a lot easier today because it's locked open. If it was locked shut, it would take a lot of patience listening inside there. Luckily, I know exactly how a combination lock works, so I would know what the little clicks mean. But we don't have to do that today. It's a really nice antique safe, 1904. It says on the dial, Victor 1910. Paint is not bad for being this old. It weighs an absolute ton. Had to use a hand truck to get it into my vehicle to bring it home. And not much rust. Got a little bit of rust underneath it. And you can see there, that looks like it was always like that. It came out of the factory with that giant gap exposing the concrete between the inside and outside walls. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to keep it in my house as just like a decoration. It's so nice. Has n nice wheels. I guess back then, they didn't bolt the safe to the floor. It wasn't stolen because it just weighs so much. You can't just pick them up. You need a hand truck to move the thing. And ramps. Go ahead, open it up. We got to open up this door. Feel that. The metal on the inside is even so thick. This bolt right here does not move. When you shut the door, it simply slides in there itself. Only these two actually are moving parts. You got the small door on the inside. Someday maybe we could have that thing keyed. But see, it's obviously have to get some little screws and fix it into the shelves. See the nails you can see slipping right there. But I don't see really see the point of having a little door locking inside unless you were sharing it with somebody like Somebody you trust has the combination to the outside and you just go to like your individual mailbox in there. It's got a little bit of corrosion or nastiness on the inside. Clean that up nicely. Got some nice old carpet in there. I'm not going to replace that because that's like original. See the inside's made out of wood. And you'll be able to see the nice high quality concrete when we open this thing up. All right, we got it open. A little bit rusty on the inside. You can always spray paint that black, but I'm gonna keep it in my house in a climate controlled area so it's not gonna get any worse. Now with anything this old, there's a chance that this concrete here may have asbestos fibers mixed into it for strength. They started using asbestos in 1870 and they mixed it with concrete back then. That helps concrete Stay strong, just not going to disturb it. You could always spray that with some clear spray paint. That would seal it in place, but it's covered up with a door anyways. Just have to open this thing up to be able to figure out the code easily. You could also change the combination in here too with this. See by the dial, see how it turns. You see how it picks everyone up? It just picked up the third and you hear a little click. That's how you figure it out from the outside. And, and you also see right here, when this one here moves, see how the bolt drops a little bit? You can hear that from the outside. All right, we're on the inside and this is how we're gonna figure out what the combination is. See how I'm moving really slowly? This safe starts with counterclockwise spin first. Some are the other way. So I'm looking at the third dial all the way in the back. I'm going to move it really slowly until a gap opens up. Here we are, our first gap. So that means our first combination is 67. Now I'm going to go in the other way. Do a full turn first, and now it just caught it. Now the second 
sprockets moving. There's the opening. Leave it parked right underneath the bolt. Look on the front of it. It says 35. That would be our second combination. Now the last one here, you're going to move it. You can see as soon as that catches, the bolt's going to drop. And it will be open. Drop. Look at the front of it. The last thing is 75. That's our combination. 67, 35, 75. And now that it's the lock, the bolt is dropped. Now I can spin it backwards and look at that. It's moving everything. Now the safe is opened. Now it's locked again. Whoop. Yep, and you're not going to open it now unless you put the combination in again. And simply to change the combination on this lock, because obviously I'm not going to keep it the same, showing it to thousands of people in this video, simply take the sprocket apart, and these, wherever it was before, you can just move them up. You can move them all slightly to a different number, or you can do it dramatically and change the whole thing. But it involves taking this thing apart. These are some nice bolts made out of nice solid, looks like brass. I'm going to oil up all these parts before I put it away. You see it? There is some grease still on there, maybe even from the factory. Yeah, I've, I've been to some abandoned places. You find grease after a hundred years, like these old train cars I found. Uh, haven't been used in a hundred years, but the bearings are still greased and ready to go, but the train dissolved around them. You see there's some rust under here on this bolt. That I'm just going to put some thick grease over that. Alright, so this is how many attempts it took me to actually figure this out. Like in the video, you just saw me do that real fast because now I know how to crack a safe. But before I didn't, it took me like six attempts. First attempt, that's what I thought the combination was at first. Then I realized I messed up there. Then I thought it was this, then I thought it was this, then this, and found it to be this. It took a little while. It would be much more difficult if the safe wasn't locked open, because I wouldn't be able to open the back door and actually see everything moving. See that? The dial is in real need of some oiling, but if I move it slowly, it doesn't make that noise. Oops. You see, you actually have to pull it a little bit. Are the bolts not lining up? Yeah, yeah, you actually have to put some torque on this to get the bolts to move. They're so tight, you see? Door doesn't budge at all, and I guess that's a good thing because in a fire, it would be, I guess it's, this thing would be fireproof because there's a lot of concrete in there. And I'm sure it has a longer burn time than some of the newer ones. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.